Hey guys, you're watching The Hungry Handgunner. I'm Nick. So one of my most popular videos has been, does 22 Magnum make a difference in a handgun? Well, don't get it right 100% of the time, obviously. And as I've learned more about 22 Mag and, and whatnot, we're gonna redo the test a little bit. I also have my Ruger American uh, 22 Long Rifle and my Ruger American 22 Magnum. We're going to get chronograph readings on those and just kind of discuss uh, some of the big differences between the two rounds. So I admit that I was fairly ignorant of just how significant the difference between 22 WMR Winchester Magnum Rimfire, 22 Mag, and 22 LR, 22 Long Rifle was. I didn't realize just how stepped up that 22 WMR was until I started shooting it out of a rifle. So I've tried to make this comparison as fair as I can. Um, I have some CCI mini mags. You guys know with availability right now, it's kind of hard. Um, the only ones I was able to find in mini mags were the 36 grain hollow points um, compared to a 40 grain total metal jacket with the 22 Magnum ammo. So we got that and that. So they are both CCI products. One's the mini mag for 22 LR. One's the maxi mag for the 22 WMR. Stated velocities on the box are for the 22 long rifle hollow point at 36 grain, 1260 feet per second. We'll circle back to that, I'm sure, after we get the numbers. And for the maxi mags, we are at a 40 grain bullet that is supposedly doing 1875. Again, we'll find out. I don't expect uh, either of these to get those numbers out of the handgun. The handgun we'll be using for the test today is going to be my Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider with a six and a half inch barrel and the 22 Magnum cylinder when we shoot 22 Magnum. My particular model came with both cylinders in the box, so this should be interesting. I did the test before, I didn't use mini mags and maxi mags, so we're gonna revisit it. We're gonna see uh, what we get here. It should be an interesting test. So we'll go ahead, we'll get the chronograph set up. I'll get it loaded up with five rounds 22 LR and five rounds 22 Magnum, and we'll do the same with the rifles, and we'll discuss. All right, I've got the chronograph set up at five yards. We're gonna go ahead and shoot over the top. Hopefully we don't do what I did before and shoot the chronograph. So this should be fun. Doing a 22 long rifle out of the Rough Rider first. One thousand ten. Nine forty six. Nine forty two. One thousand twenty seven. And one thousand five. So we'll go ahead, add up those numbers. I'll throw them up on screen along with the muzzle energy associated with that 36 grain bullet doing those speeds in the average. All right, now we have the CCI Maxi Mag 40 grain total metal jacket, uh, 22 Magnums loaded up in the Rough Rider. So we'll see what that looks like on the chronograph. One thousand one hundred and eighty-three. One thousand fifty-seven. One thousand one hundred and forty-six. One thousand one hundred and twelve. 1,098. We'll go ahead, I'll crunch those numbers and put the average velocity along with the muzzle energy for that massive bullet doing that average speed. We'll put it up on the screen. All right, now for the rifle portion, we're gonna start off with 22 long rifle. This is my Ruger American Rimfire 22 LR. This rifle has been amazing. There will be links on the description uh, for these guns, the associated videos I have with them. 
I uh, have the most experience with this one out of everything we're shooting today. But I've got my magazine loaded up with tin just in case I have some issues. I'm a bit cautious with the chronograph just because I, the, the first one I had, the day I got it, I put a 5.56 five, round through the front of it. So good times there. There would be a video floating around if you want to go laugh at me. But anyway, we'll go ahead and see. We're going to be doing the rifle portion uh, suppressed. It's my favorite way to shoot and a little bit nicer on my neighbors. So how much of a difference that'll make with 22 Magnum? Well, we have a video coming on that too. But anyway, here we go. Let's see what uh, Mini Mag 36 grain CCI hollow point out of a rifle will look like on the chronograph. Got 1,234. One thousand two hundred and ten. Got an error on that one. One thousand two hundred and thirty seven. One thousand two hundred and forty six. 1,250. Here we are with the Ruger American uh, 22 WMR, 22 Magnum, Winchester Magnum Rimfire, whatever you want to call it, commonly known as 22 Mag, loaded up with some 40 grain CCI Maxi Mags, and we'll give this a go. Seventeen twenty nine. Seventeen eighty two, seventeen seventy four, eighteen forty seven, eighteen seventy eight. This is getting interesting here. Uh, we're going to do one more just because I'm curious to see how the muzzle velocity is going up as the barrel warms up here. 18. And we got an error. So I'll go ahead and crunch those numbers and see what the average velocity is along with the muzzle energy for that. And I'll also be putting up the stated velocities uh, on the boxes for these two ammunitions. So very obvious here, at least to me, that you're getting a lot more performance out of the 22 Magnum out of a rifle than a pistol. I do want to give a close up of these two ammunition types uh, that we'll be using today. So again, the 22 long rifle is a 36 grain instead of 40. How big of a difference that is to you, I'm not sure. I would have gone with 40 grain if I could find it, but you know how the ammo situation is. So there's going to be a close up of these two uh, ammunition types. So there you have it. You can see the 22 Magnum, 22 WMR is significantly larger there. Uh, 22 Magnum is the flat pointed full metal jacket. 22 long rifle is the hollow point there and it's just plated instead of a true metal jacket. I do realize that likely uh, there's going to be some folks that are just, well, yeah, dummy, it's not a 22 long rifle uh, in terms of 22 Magnum. And a little bit late to the ball game there. I never really understood the appeal, but the more I dive into this cartridge, the more I'm impressed with its capabilities over the 22 long rifle. It's a good middle ground for me and my needs, which could be different than you and your needs, uh, between a 22 long rifle and a 5.56. It gives me a little bit added reach, a little bit better bullet construction, and is a little bit more handy for 
things like varmints and small predators like coyotes. So uh, I'm looking forward to continuing this little love affair I have with the 22 Magnum um, and perhaps doing some ballistics testing later on down the road. But I've been very impressed with it so far and very impressed with the Ruger American Rifle. I've done nothing but seeing Ruger American Rifle praise on my channel and it's been well earned. I'm not on Ruger's radar, they're not paying me to say that, but I really do enjoy the American series of rifle, especially for the money. So way off with your comments down below. It's been a very eye-opening video for me. So long live the 22 Magnum. Would also like to thank my patron and channel member supporters. You guys are amazing. I appreciate everything you do. Uh, there's not enough words to thank you for it. So here's your credit video.